I'm going to start this model by adding an internet background map. Here is the internet map icon. It takes me to this new menu. Um, most of my settings are on the left here to start out. Uh, first and most important is just simply the checkbox to turn the, the internet maps on. So I'm going to show maps. Um, I'll, I can use any of these map sources. I'll just uh, use this default here and I'll use this default map type which is a hybrid between satellite image and road map. Um, this section here, the map update, the default setting is for the map to update on refresh only which means that as you pan and zoom around uh, the map uh, it will not refresh unless you click the refresh button and that's because you know when you're loading from the internet there is a lag and uh, this speeds things up a little bit. Uh, you can select to uh, refresh on every new view uh, that, so that option is available. Okay, so let's find our location. We click the find location button and you do this by typing in a city and state for US locations or perhaps a city and country for overseas. So we're going to use Lexington, Kentucky which is the location for our KY pipe offices. Yes, I want to use that location. It identifies it. <coughs> the map will load in about the same amount of time it takes a typical web page to load. My connection happens to be a DSL, which is a little bit on the slow side. This is the refresh button right here, the, the circular arrows for when you are panning and zooming around the map and want to uh, update the map. <clears throat> if you find that uh, your view is pixelated or there's a white area around it then definitely that you want to use the refresh map button to uh, load the map back up again. I've just completed the layout of a very simple piping system. I've done this over top of uh, an internet background that I located prior to laying out my pipes. This is of Lexington, Kentucky. And now I want to use the internet background map option to import elevations from that application. I do this by going to my internet backgrounds menu. And on the right side is a section called scaling internet maps. I've already found my map location and uh, I can skip step two for now. This would be important especially if you are at very far north where latitudes might need to be adjusted. I'm going to skip step four because I am already laid out in my correct location and I go to this button here that says get elevations. Um, it is going to ask me if I want to calculate it for all the nodes. If I already have values, it's possible I may not want to override them. And so in that case, I could answer no. But I'm going to answer yes because I have no elevation data in my model currently. And when I come back to the system, I can click on individual nodes. And I see that each node now has an elevation value that was imported from the Internet.